Hmm. We'll keep this hand. It's like a little loose. A little loosey goosey. The bigger the stream, the more bad suggestions. It's just natural progression. Maybe true, maybe true. Opponent moles to six on the play. I'm probably just playing Triumph on turn one. We'll see what we draw. Mountain go. I feel like I'm getting some lag too. The storm, oh it's prowess, interesting. I feel like we've, we've been beating up on Burn with this deck. I haven't really played against Prowess very much yet. Yeah, I think that they're going to kill my Goose and I'm going to respond to the Burn spell with the Galvanic Blast. Although I guess they might just do that on their turn. Hmm. Yeah, EE is good in this matchup. We have three in the main, one in the side, although it doesn't kill Stroming Entity, but Galvanic Blast maybe can. Why not Cabin Goose and Emery? Well, I was thinking that holding up Blast was important here. Yeah, I think that trying to play around my opponent not having a uh, one mana instant is too bad. We just like lose so hard to that. Yeah, it might have been better to just play Kappa and Goose last turn. I, I thought that my opponent would kill my Goose end of turn and I could respond with the Blast, but they didn't. And so on, on top land, let's just go Emery Blast. Hmm. We have to play this. We do have one more red source in the deck in Stomping Ground. We're definitely a light red splash. Also, we get Stomping Ground here. We can't play Gingerbread Cabin into Urza next turn. But I'm just going to main phase blast. Higher upside play. Well, wow, it worked awesome. So we're at 13, uh, although we can gain some life with the cabins potentially. Is Galvanic Blast better than Bolt? My main thinking is that Galvanic Blast can kill Stormwing Entity way more consistently than Bolt can. Um, but it's possible you just want to play Bolts instead. But like specifically the card Stormwing Entity is, is like Blast is way better against. But I could be wrong. Obviously in this spot, Bolt would have been better. But it might just have a Stormwing Entity here that we can't kill. They didn't have one last turn. You're not sold that Blast is better against Entity? I think that it is. Uh, it was, I think, on Tuesday. But, I mean, I, I could be wrong. This is, this is just, I, I just the very least my thought process, you know. I'm certainly willing to admit I could be wrong about this one. Did my opponent mulligan? I feel like they have just are so light on resources. Yeah, they did go to six. So we're probably playing tracker and fetching this turn. I'm gonna have a really nice Urza turn next turn. I guess we can also we can fetch for basic island and play Emery and still get play cabin next turn. Opponent's also playing like super slow. Uh, I'm running back this, uh, I had some changes that I wanted to make to the sideboard from the other day, but it's it's essentially the same list that we had last time. Probably going to chump block the mage with Emery if I get the chance. You don't want to F6 with 4-6 to six free spells and opponent with blast and bolts. 
Uh, I do want F6 because I care about... Oh, th them. They don't want F6. I guess. They're still playing really slowly even if they have, like, if they got the gut shot or the mutagenic growth that they want to cast. Alright, Lava Dart me. And to light up the stage. And the Sprite Dragon mutagenic growth. Brutal. So they have one card in their hand, one Lava Dart, and the Dragon Mutagenic Growth. Though this was a Thursday meme like Dono Deck. No, this is something I think is has genuine legs that I've been working on. We played it on Wednesday, all day. I'm still chumping the Soul Mage with the Emery. Sure, I guess their last card has to be a mutagenic growth or a gut shot, right? Like, why would they? Why would they be tanking so long in spots like this? So maybe they think about lava darting and gut shotting my tracker here. So we'd like to draw potentially galvanic blast, potentially. Uh, Cryptic Command, Engineered Explosives, it was Gut Shot. They're targeting me. So we can, we can gain some life off of the food tokens. So I don't think we're dead to the dragon next turn unless they draw like particularly well. Yeah, so they, if they, I'm sure they, I'm sure that they're just going to go in, right? And they're going to Lava Dart me. We can't kill them with the tracker, right? Actually, I think if we draw Gal Galvanic Blast, they might die. Only have one more Blast in the deck. We have two explosives, or three explosives, two cryptics. Well, I guess we also only have two foods. Yeah, we only have two foods. I don't think we're supposed to fetch here. So two foods gain a six up to nine. So we, we do lose to some of their top, their top decks, I suppose. Uh, my first draft was Sultai instead of Teemer. I didn't think that it was... I thought that this was better. Um, can I play Emery? I should be. I can, right? Tap these two, sack food, tap Construct, Stomping Ground. And so this can help me dig for explosives, potentially. I did see the explosives. Also might as well just ping them, I think. Any reason I dropped Kotal? Um, so, I mean, I added Renin... My Soul type version had Kotal. This version has Renin 6. I think if you play Renin 6 and you're playing Cryptics, yeah, and you're just, like, you just don't have that... And you, you, I don't think you can also play Ice Fangs. You just don't have the density of... Uh, you know, synergies with artifacts or, or artifacts. I think, you know, this is a, a very synergy-based deck that Ice Fang is, you know, in the colors of, but doesn't actually have synergy with the rest of the deck. Yeah, yeah, uh, preemptively cracking a food I think is good here. But I think you only need to crack one. And then we'll crack another one before Sprite Dragon actually hits me. But maybe being able to block uh, the Soul Scar Mage with the Karnstruct is good. Gingerbread Cabin just wins every game. <laughs> really does feel like it wins every game. Not that this game is over, but we're not dead to lightning bolts. We are dead to gutshot, right? No, gutshot only puts us to puts us to one. So they need to have to like I mean if they had a cantrip they would have already played it. Cabin is so good in the stack. The new Mystic Sanctuary. Some people have suggested being Sultai, um, and you can play Cat Oven, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how good it is, though. It's probably medium. Well, there's the Galvanic Blast. All right, I think I'm just going to start off by... You know, blasting Soul Scrimmage. I have the ability to gain two life at instant speed. They do have a spell. 
They're dead if it's mutagenic growth. What a game. Tough first game of the of the league. We're bringing the third and the fourth blast and the fourth explosives. I think I want to cut the Mox Amber, Emery number three, Metallic Rebuke number four. That's good to me. Was I on the play that game? Do I miss p playing Paper Magic at all? Uh, basically every day I think about playing Paper Magic. My favorite thing to do. Get some water while we wait. Ugh. I was in the draw, but they played their Soul Scar on 2 July. I see. So let's I give Thopter Sword. I guess. I'm not super high on Thopter Sword, honestly. So you kind of have to play Whirr, I think, to play Thopter Sword, and that card kind of stinks. But you can do it if you want to do it. I mean, Gingerbread Cabin is pretty good with Whirr of Invention. Kind of. Grixis is the word deck. I mean, you could play Sultai, though. Like, I don't think that you have to play Grixis. Just play one of each and draw into it eventually. I don't know. I think it's just fine to not, not play it at all. We can keep this hand. You will do good work this <laughs> this game, Engineered Explosives. Although I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play it on turn one. We'll see. I mean, we'll see what they do. Obviously, if they don't play a one drop, <laughs> easy decision. Oh, man, magic is so easy sometimes. Um, I've played some Urza Stoneblade decks. They usually feel incredibly medium, though. Turn two, pay mana for Gutshot into light of the stage. Dude, paying mana for Gutshot has got to be just like the loosest play ever, right? Did another Gutshot and an Opt. Any ant content on the horizon? Maybe. When is the Legacy Showcase Challenge? Is that Sunday? If it's Sunday, I might stream it. I can't I can't do anything tomorrow. It is Sunday. I, I'm not promising it, but maybe I'll stream the Legacy Showcase on Sunday with ants. And maybe I'll just play it off stream. Stormwing Entity is a beating here. I mean, they, surely they would have played it last turn if they had it. Well, they have it this turn at least. Well, if, if we play Tracker this next turn and Tracker lives, we get to... Um, play Urza with Cryptic the following turn. I think that this, like, the upside of this play is is there. Presence of Gone plus Midnight Guard does sound like some spicy tech, although I know what Midnight Guard does. Wow, genius. Might need a intruder alarm in the mix too. Is there a snow payoff in the deck? Um, no, just at one point I had Ice Fang in the list, and so the lands are still snow. But you, you can play your favorite basics if you want to, of course. Behind it behind, yeah, eight minutes behind on the clock. They've taken about 12 game actions. Yikes. Although maybe this is fine. It, this is fine if my opponent doesn't kill the tracker, I think, and doesn't have spell pierce, which is probably asking too much. What do I do with these? One on bottom, one on top. 
Last time we put one on bottom, one on top. Yeah, rest in peace, Tyler's Tracker. So I guess we're just gonna hope to survive a hit, <laughs> which is not uh, doesn't. I don't feel great about our chances. Explosives looking so sad against my opponent's draw. Actually, if I draw another zero mana artifact here, I could I could actually hold up cryptic. But I didn't. Can't crack the food. Can't do anything. Well, I guess I could, I could maybe have played the explosives out to be able to crack the food. Is that is that what I needed to do? I guess. Manamorphos number three must be nice. Is Dispute good against Blue Red Prowess? I think it is, yes. I think it is. Yeah, I should have played out the EE on zero. Manamorphos number four. I mean, I guess they could have nothing somehow. Right, that's not nothing. Yeah, we were dead to that even if we sack the... Even if we sack the food. Let me think if I want to make any changes here. I'm going to bring in the fourth rebuke on the play. Hmm. I'm going to keep this hand. Play goose into goose plus rebuke. Although playing playing multiple geese is kind of awkward if they survive and I need to EE -E on one. Yeah, I, I think that I, do, I don't I don't think that you want to play damping sphere against prowess. Mystical dispute is sometimes great, sometimes dead. I mean it's just pretty good against both Sprite Dragon and Stormwing Entity. And you know you can like dispute their spell pierces and disputes that they usually bring in against the dispute decks. Not that I have dispute in my sideboard. We have passed the 10 minute mark though, as far as uh, being ahead on time goes. I think I'm just passing back. I kind I, I just don't want to play the second goose with these EEs in my hand. Does Blue Red Prowess have a ton of decision trees? It's got some for sure. All right, I think I'm making a food here off of Basic Island. Oh, I was also supposed to block here, I think. Maybe I wasn't. It's just a three for two, which is which is good. I'm like happy to happy to have it. And if we draw a land, we also get to hold up rebuke, which is nice. That that would be great to have a, a land here. Perfect. I, I, I do think that I want to... Oh no, we have to, sorry, we have to sack a food so we can't hold up, can't hold up a uh, rebuke. So I guess we're playing Goose. Off of Breeding Pool. Mana base is definitely painful, but at least we have all these foods to eat. Could have maybe been a 12 if we had taken that block. You have rebuke if you play E on 2. I don't think that that's worth it. Narrow Nacho, thank you for your Twitch Prime subscription. Hope you're having a good day today. No Storming Entity is so good for us. I can't even, can't even talk about how good it is for us. All right, Basic Forest, not a very good draw, but at least turns our cabins online. Draw Urza, we have Cryptic up. If we draw Blue Source, we have Cryptic up. You can tap the food and still pay for Rebuke, but I had to sack a food to cast the Rebuke, right? Am I going to Metallic Rebuke a Lightning Bolt here? I think I will. 
Maybe not, just might just sack a food to eat to draw a card. Gain three life. But if I sack a food to gain three life here, then I can't hold up rebuke next turn without a land. Why would you ever metamorphose in this spot? Why would you ever cast metamorphose here and not main phase? For red, red bolt, I guess. You have to tap the foos to sack them. I don't know, it's just like, what if you draw something, what if you draw a sorcery that you want to cast? <laughs> JT, MTGO user, aspiring spike, thank you. I'm glad to be your favorite MTGO user. Welcome back. They don't dart me, put me down to nine. It's probably for Stormwing Entity. Three hundred forty-five k in channel points and counting. Good investments. Good investments. Put a card on the bottom. Two cards in hand. I'm gonna sack the explosives here. I know that this opens me up to Stormwing, but we can maybe just bounce Stormwing. I'm gonna get the Triumph here too, even though we, we would like to get Cabin theoretically. Yeah, drawing Breeding Pool makes me regret not getting Cabin, but I think we're a little ahead here. We have the food, so we're you know, basically at 11 life, and our top, deck, our top decks are on average better than our opponents, and they are drawing up to three cards in hand, but we have the mana advantage, and we just have this uh, Cryptic Command. Kind of scared of them having Spell Pierce plus threat this turn exactly. Gut shots me. They could definitely have Spell Pierce in their hand. But I think I'm still supposed to counter draw a light up the stage in this spot. And it worked. And we drew a spell. Not necessarily the best spell, but it'll have to do. All right, that's a, that's a gingerbread cabin. That's two life, effectively. Ooh, whoops, sorry for... Sorry if that made anybody dizzy. Trying to figure out what my opponent's last card is. Maybe a braid. A braid would make a lot of sense. Just need a Gadwick here. Dude, I love Gadwick so much. They did put a card on the bottom there. I think we wait on the foods. Interesting draw. Good draw. Good draw for sure. Maybe bounce gingerbread cabin, draw a card, end of turn. Seems kind of reasonable to me. I'm not going to do that unless I, I'll counter, I'll rather, I'd rather counter draw. I don't think I need to counter metamorphose though. Should we hold lands for tracker? Uh, maybe. Yeah, probably. I should, I think I'm going to, I guess they've got these, uh, yeah, they've got the Lava Dart, so it's actually kind of dicey if we try to blast this. Another point for Lightning Bolt. Over Galvanic Blast. It's another cabin. So yeah, we should probably hold this, although playing it lets us have uh, Metal Craft. I guess, and also Mana for Urza, so I'll... I'll suppose play Urza first. Can I spin Urza and sack a food? I think I can. Foods are effectively three mana to sacrifice, but we have seven eights, which is exactly enough. It's not a bad hit at all. Build over Blast, Rebuke, Renin 6, Wooded Foothills. Still 33 cards in our library. Should 
Should have left up blast. I don't think so. Maybe we should have. I guess we could have, yeah. Is my opponent just dead? They seem just dead. I think I'll play this for one. So we get to attack them for six plus eight is one short. I guess I could have counted first. I thought that I thought that they were dead. But math has never been my strong suit. So if we had any any artifact here kills them. Or Renin Six to just ping. Although Renin Six is also an artifact because we have one more cabin. All right, two more, two, so two points for Galvanic Blast here. For those of you keeping track at home. I feel like Brian Kibler right about now. Deprive plus cabin, it's kind of awesome, awesome, honestly. This hand. Hey Shane, how's it going? Uh, this hand's not very good. Probably have to keep it on six. Put back tracker two, I guess. Hope to get some help from the top of our library. Opponent also mulligan to six. <sighs> May it boggles. Hmm. Easy matchup. Should I play cabin on one? I guess so. You want to you want to play your band blade at the tournament today, but I don't have any squirrels. Uh. I mean, Jace is a fine replacement. I'd really recommend the squirrels. I don't know. I mean, I, I, they might just not be hard to get, but Jace is fine. Jace is a fine replacement. Core Spirit Dancer is a bit scary, especially if they have a, what's that card called? The the ones that will save the spear dancer. I can't remember what what are those called. What are those cards called? There's two of them. They've got a dumb keyworded ability that uh, I don't really care to remember. The umbras, yes, thank you. Ah, but I guess I can still have land plus umbra. Totem armor. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Dang it! Ugh, I feel so bad to draw the explosives against <laughs> boggles and lose. Let me just make sure this works how I think it does. Sad. Sad. That being said, we, we do have four explosives and I, I this matchup is probably very good for us. Probably do want two Galvanic Blast for Spirit Dancers. Can maybe cut Rin and Six number four. Maybe EE -E on one. I mean, in, in that spot, we're supposed to, we we were supposed to EE -E on two against the Spirit Dancer there. It's just like it's just, yeah, yeah, for sure. So Emery can dig for, or potentially try to dig for some of our four copies of explosives. I think I'm gonna mulligan though. This isn't a turn one Emery, and yeah, a hand like this that just has Emery plus explosives is so strong. Although, am I supposed to just play turn one Emery? I think that's fine. We can sack our explosives later if we really need to. Turn one Emery against Boggles seems great. We have a Temple Garden on top. Wow, so lucky. Yeah, so we're either gonna sack explosives or metallic rebuke, we can't do both. So I'm just gonna play the breeding pool tap while I have a sec to do so. You kinda like just holding a rebuke turn one instead of turn two Emery. Mm. I know they die without a threat, but we're, we're gonna be able to loop these explosives. I think this is fine. Although if we feel like they're holding a path, maybe we don't sack the bobble right now. I 
I'm not saying I'm definitely I was definitely right in this spot, but I am saying this line ended up paying off better. We also milled another explosives. <laughs> this matchup seems really good. Uh, we're probably gonna win this game. We might lose game three, of course, because you can you can lose good matchups. Imagine they play Stony, maybe. I haven't seen many Stony silences lately. This deck does become worse if people start playing that card. Oh, Dryad Arbor is good against this. <laughs> yeah, I can't explosives at Dryad Arbor. Their top card is also Suppression Field? Are we going to lose? I bobble myself. Chromatic Star on top. Shuffle. Explosives on one. Do I crack? Do I crack it now? I think so. I think there's. I think they're just gonna play a suppression field, and I want to crack it before I play the goose, anyways. Dude, suppression field is so nuts here. Oh, I guess we can just kill it with explosives, actually. Never mind. Activate abilities cost two more two more mana to activate unless they're mana abilities. And they have a rancor. They've had a really good draw this game. Although so have we. Notably, we can't um Crack the EE this turn. Was having E sitting on two better? Maybe. This like this let us play the goose at least. I'm not saying that that's necessarily better. I just jump block with the goose to gain two life. Probably fine. Maybe that maybe that's bad. We got one card left. Man, this game was, for, for someone who's cast now three engineered explosives against Boggles, this game has been pretty close. We can sack a food to not die here. My opponent does have like another Coronet or something. I guess we're not dead, dead. Yeah, you just go to two. I'm going to bobble myself, another bobble on top, I'll just shuffle that away, get a cabin, gain three life. Yeah, it, uh, explosives on one also kills the coronet here, because if you remove the other enchantment it goes away, which is pretty good here. We're, we're, we're certainly ahead, but you know, I'd, li I'd like to also be a body if I could. Ah, I'm a body as well now. The rancor, the rancor does go back to hand, but we'll probably end up sacking like in the beginning of combat or in response to another like one mana aura or two mana aura. Yeah. That was a very close game for like the turn one Emery <laughs> start looping explosives draw. But we also we also metallic rebuked my opponent's turn two core spirit dancer that game. We had like our draw was about as good as it gets. A galvanic blast would have been pretty nice. But boy, it was tough. I think I'm going to bring in the third blast just because Dry Arbor actually seems pretty good against our plan. My favorite part about this game is actually eating our houses to stay alive. Yeah, the flavor. Tan does not have explosives. It does have turn two metallic rebuke. That's probably just not good enough, right? My opponent kept seven. Yeah, against a, against a seven card hand, I think we have to mulligan. This hand is also not very good, but I think we need to keep on six. Bubble myself. We have four explosives in the deck. Surely we'll draw one, right? There's a Ren and six on top. Let's shuffle that away. Oh, 
Okay, so if we can maybe go turn four Urza into Cryptic, that'd be good. If we play our tracker next turn, we can't play Urza because we have to use our food. Man, their draws have been really good this game. I I, I did think about playing Witching Well over Chromatic Star, but at the time of making this comment, I am not of the opinion that Witching Well is better than Chromatic Star. Yikes. Well, don't even think, I guess Explosives does save us. Like maybe I just needed to mulligan to Explosives, but I thought this was a fine six card hand. Hmm. Mox Amber mocking us. We don't have red mana for our Rin and Six. If one of these two lands were a fetch, it'd be easy keep, but I think we actually mulligan that hand. Let's keep this one. Opponent revealed Yorion. I think I'm putting back explosives. Hmm. <laughs> Yorion, Wooded Foothills, Sacred Foundry, Giver of Runes. Well, maybe I chose poorly, putting back the explosives. I guess this is maybe 80 card Soul Rider. Opponent is a fan. So I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shock so I have the ability to make a food or rebuke. That's what it looks like to me. So we can play Urza next turn. I don't I don't really think we need to fear. Oh man, tap for exactly the wrong colors. I keep tapping blue for goose. I don't know why. I guess I'm just used to tapping blue for everything. Oh boy. It is 80 card Soul Rider, very cool. Always love facing down against one of my decks. It's gonna get basic forest here. I'm not gonna counter the Ephemerate on the way down. But hopefully these rebukes are good. I think they I think that they are gonna be good. Nice to have a dark steel relic in my hand to go with this Urza. I'm gonna counter this. If they're playing my I mean I guess I, I wasn't main decking Knight of Autumn, so it looks like some changes have been made. Actually. So maybe, maybe there's main deck paths. No, no main deck paths. So I'm pretty sure we want to EE on one here. I don't think my opponent's actually stream sniping. I think that they probably just left their Twitch logged in, you know? So I'm supposed to make a food first. I guess I've been gift gifted the second chance at life here. And I'll leave the Triumph in my hand to cycle. Yeah, it's fine. I appreciate you looking out, but I don't I don't suspect my opponent of ghosting. Might, I might regret not uh, playing the Triome. Yeah, God with a Shotgun might be a mod. I honestly have a hard time keeping track of who's a mod and who's not. <laughs> well, ended up paying off. Um, Do I want to spin? I think I just want to spin. Is spinning better than just attacking for five? Hell yeah, it is. Got a lot of good hits here. 
Ding, 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 ding. Spinning definitely worth it. Big Spectres would live, I agree, playing Triumph, but I saw the future, obviously. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it was an interesting decision. Huh. They get back Ephemerate. Not too scared of anything in their graveyard right now. They also need one more Snowland to give this Ice Fang Death Touch, which seems pretty important here. Next, Skyclave and play Class Pull Mimic Tapped. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't feel like they have the luxury to attack there. I probably don't want to play this tracker first because I, I kind of, if I miss on my land on this clue, I'm going to want to try to spin into a land. So I don't think I have the extra mana to spare. Although if I draw a land, we could probably play the tracker. It's a redraw. It's a pretty dang good land, if I do say so myself. Not as good as a fetch land, but we would be fetching for cabin anyways. All right, good luck, opponent. Don't think they're dead this turn, but they're taking a ton of damage. Was this a dono? This is no. This was a a creation of my own design. Red and six is really good in this matchup too. I think I like the third blast. Yeah, Cabin is insane with Urza. It's really good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play three blast against them. Maybe four on the draw actually, because they have all these uh, they have all these mana dorks. Emery also seems a little slow in the draw in this matchup. I think we can trim one. Whoever brewed it, I want to give them a hug. It was me. You can give me a hug. Lantern for Ewit. I don't know. It feels very narrow to me. Like, it's just Eternal Witness. And I, they, their deck does play. Like, that is a big part of their game plan, but... I feel like if for Lantern you want to have a hit, be able to hit a few more things, I think. I can mulligan this hand. I would really, really like to play at least a turn two Rin and six on my mold of five. How did I lose the first? I lost two boggles. Need I say more? I guess I'm gonna put back Breeding Pool. Cryptic Command, and then go turn one, Gilded Goose, turn two, Ren and Six, Moss Am Mox Amber Blast if I want to. Like, I can cast the Ren and Six off the Goose, and then just recur the Windsub Teeth the whole game. And my opponent, sh my opponent should have a hard time killing the Goose based on, you know, their deck construction. Boggle should be a good matchup too. We have three main deck explosives in the fourth and the side, but we still lost. They had pretty good draws. Tangle Flohedron. It's pretty brutal for them. Well, I guess I'm gonna. I mean, I guess I'm blasting. And not pinging, which makes it a bit better for them. Oof. And I use my blast. <sighs> It's tough, to say the least. Maybe I was supposed to go ping ping here. I think I'm gonna wait a turn. Play my tracker this turn. But the Ren and Six does let me kill the collector. Or maybe it's better to play Emery plus food here. Let's do that. You don't really mind the Ridden Six taking two, of course. We even hit a bobble for the Emery. There's the Riders. 
But they don't look too good in the spot. Put the rent to one, which is fine because you just get to play a second copy here. And then we can play tracker if we want to. Seems fine. Although, hold on, maybe it's not fine. Yeah, let me just like chump block. If if they if they pay for echo, I'll just chump block with the goose. And then also make a food. They have windswept teeth on top. Bobble doesn't do a lot. It draws a card. It's a lot to me. Oof. Hmm. I'm glad I took the line I took, I guess. No, every green fetch is not Misty Rainforest is exactly the same in this deck. No, we did not win against Boggles. They had some pretty good draws. Well, I do like having access to that, this card here. One sub teeth on top. I'm going to shuffle that away. I think I'm just getting basic island here. Get back to fetch land. These red and sixes have done a lot of work this match. Mox Amber have been very good this match as well. Put them down to one card. They still have their... Um, Yorion though. They do let the Avalanche Raiders die so they have other plans for their mana. Rest in peace Ren. Gonna give me something to rebuke? Looks like they might be unless this is Yorion. But Yorion and the Commander Zone and two mystery cards. I think that's good enough to use my rebuke on here. Could could see letting it go though. Our top card is engineered explosives. Which we can't play x equals 4, so I think I'm shuffling. I think we're just going to play the second tracker, attack for 4 and pass. Uh, Athena is napping in the other room at the moment. Can we get a mod to redeem the or refund the pet Athena request? And I promise that uh, she'll be back next week. There's Urza. Okay, cool. We could just die to Kiki Jiki here if they have Land Court of Calling, but. Or Red Land Kiki Jiki. Eternal Witness Collector Oof, okay. This is. bad, I guess. Not that bad. Yeah, you can re refund Chain, do some work around here. <laughs> Start spinning. To make a lot of mana and the construct is huge. Cool. Thank you, mods. This board state is Kind of hectic. I can spin twice. Also hit more th artifacts, I guess, maybe. 
Hit a Mock Sapphire. I get another mana off of Emery if I want it to. Yeah, so I can spin again. It's not a bad hit. Puts a big old creature into play. I'd like to maybe hit Galvanic Blast. Although I might even blast the Restoration Angel on this board. Over the Oof. Okay, we did hit it. My opponent's top decking. Did they get back Ephemerate with Eternal Witness, or was it just the, the Oof? I think it was just the Oof. I think I killed the, the Restoration Angel. So I don't die to Kiki Jiki. Yeah, I think we have enough artifacts for Metalcraft. I haven't counted. I'm down. I'm down to trade Tracker for Eternal Witness too, because of uh, Ephemerate. Well, I guess they have a free block here. We also get to put five more artifacts into play off of Misty Rainforest next turn. Any consideration to stoke his rebuttal instead of Metallic Rebuke? I think Rebuke is better, dude. Rebuttal on on Blue Blue is tough. Cryptic is a little more castable because you can like in theory curve Cryptic and Urza into Cryptic. You also don't, I mean, yeah, Re Rebuke is better in my opinion, but I do like the idea of Stoic Rebuttal. That card is very cool. But I was thinking, they drew something. Could just be typing out a message. Really, really fun match so far. This deck feels really powerful to me. Yeah, this was always the most frustrating thing when the Urza decks were popular. You'd have your Collector Oof or Stony Silence, and then Urza would just laugh at you. What's our opponent doing? They're thinking. I think they drew Court of Calling. That's my guess. Drew the Kiki. I, think, I mean, if they drew Kiki, they just have conceded by now. I think they drew Cord. Uh, I I should probably be thinking about like what I'd cord for if I were them, but I don't really feel like there's good options. What about a Banth version with Thopter Sword? I'm pretty low on Thopter Sword. Also, you can't be Banth, I think. I think you have to be Teamer or Sultai because the Triome is that important to making Gingerbread Cabin work. But you could be Sultai with Thopter Sword if you want to. I just don't think, I'm just not very high on Thopter Sword. Some people who have been critical of this deck have said that they feel like this deck is too light on win conditions. I kind of feel like a bunch of big constructs and trackers are enough win conditions, but... Um, uh, but if you disagree... Cord for two? For Charming Prince? Flicker, Eternal Witness, and that can get back Cord of Calling and Cord for... Three. Okay. I don't have red mana. I don't have red mana. I I can't. I, my my stomping ground is in the graveyard. It got killed. I only play one stomping ground. play this. Maybe it's better to fetch though. Yeah, I missed out on two clues. It's just two mana. Two spins. Well, we can't crack clues because there's a collector oof instead, but it would be better to crack clues, yes. If we could, but we can't.
Looking for like cryptic command to just tap their team. I think I'm out of galvanic blast. I think I drew the last one. Oh, summoned it to existence. GG. Court for three. Well, I built their deck and I don't know what they can get here, so maybe they'll surprise me with something. Yeah, that doesn't do it, right? Maybe it does. No. GG's. Tough match. It's been a really interesting league so far. Easy keep. How did they get tapped? I cast Cryptic Command. Talking about to, they also they also cast Court of Calling, which is actually how they got tapped. Oh, they are Colonnade deck, and I get to cast Ren and Six. Hope you have a Force of Negation. For your sake. But I'll just have a second Ren and Six in my hand if you do. They foretell a card, interesting. I think I'm going for Imri here. I haven't played this matchup, I don't think. I don't know if it's good. I hope I don't get Doom Scarred. But it's probably the, the draw spell, right? Yeah, I just, I, just, I just don't really feel like you have time to do stuff like this in Modern, but maybe I'm wrong. I've certainly dirtled around in my time too. Yeah, I think that I'm just not playing. Yeah, I think I'm not playing into my opponent's counter spell here. I know they can just behold, but that's fine. They have to deal with this Ren. I have Cryptic Command in my graveyard now. Emery is drawing me a card every turn. It was Behold the Multiverse. Sure. Out of basics. I guess I shouldn't have six because I might want to like Chromatic Star into Rebuke. See what we draw. Cryptic command. Am I just holding up cryptic? I guess so. So that's fine. Should I play out explosives on zero? Kind of like that against Shark Typhoon, actually. It's going to be a Mox Sapphire soon, anyways. So they didn't have a, a force on turn two. We'll see if they found one. We're pretty ahead here. This also allows us to maybe crack star into metallic rebuke. Or like try to, you know. I think we just let this go. With our threats being creatures here, it's gonna be really hard for our opponent to contend with this. Would it be better to counterbalance the colonnade? I'm not afraid of Celestial Colonnade. My opponent couldn't have activated it, right? Yeah. I guess I can't Ren and Six here. Do I want to spin? I think I'll spin. Good path to exile opponent. Blast you. 
Yeah, I could cast Gustav Star. I don't. I don't think that I. I think my opponents kind of like you to verdict if they have a verdict. Uh, yeah, I know I can cast Goose. I don't think I'm supposed to cast Goose because I think you're about to get verdicted. Third path, not verdict. They still have to deal with this though. This is big boy. No, they can. Dude, Path Exile is just the best removal spell in modern. I've been a fool for talking bad about it. I take it all back. You'll just run them out of basics, you know. <laughs> Oops. Start off with this. They're F6, that's good. All right, I'll, I'll just play a second Urza here then. Uh, well, this gets mana leaked. They have six, though. Spinning before I play my land because I could draw a tracker. Or hit a tracker off of this, rather. And do I get a spin again? I can, I can spin again if I play another explosives on zero. Probably worth it, right? I'm just addicted to the spinning. Yeah, I think I think goosing now is fine. Probably wasn't it was probably fine last turn too. Might deck ourselves. I can't rebuke anything. Your turn. Still have two clues. They didn't have, a, I think they would have verdicted last turn if they had one. No, maybe not. Three mana up, interesting. Our top card is Misty Rainforest, no thanks. Like something better if you have it. Sack clue. That clue. Okay, it's not nothing. <laughs> this is why we need one Emrakul, maybe. If my opponent colonnades my Ren, what am I doing? Right, I'll just counter this. They're down. They're down to one card in their hand. They can put my run in six to one. I'm not really that worried. I've got a lot of draw, draw a lot of cards, but also a lot of air, I guess. Oh, I should have played the goose. Shit. Well, the last card is Jace, though. Um, can I? I could have. I could have ee'd on four if I had played the goose. We've played two Urzas, only one tracker so far. Kind of unlucky to only hit one tracker. And 36 cards. Come on. Wait, they plussed? Not what I would have done, but whatever, right? I'm gonna play this so we can shuffle. Can't EE on four there, right? Because this, yeah. So we only have Teamer. Oh, I did show them Blast. I don't know. I, I would have, I would have definitely brainstormed there. I don't even really think it's close. Here comes Colony. I actually don't think we can block because we need this to EE. It's not like if I was going to ultimate the red next turn, I'd definitely block, but we're just not. Good draw. We have one more blast in our deck. Our top card is Galvanic Blast. So if I, I guess, let's 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 just see if the explosives kills the Jace first. I 
Main deck Dovin's Veto. So now in their upkeep, we'll blast the Jace. Spin five mana to play around Queller, I guess, but if my opponent's playing Verdict and Queller, I'd be pretty surprised. Blue-white players have definitely done crazier things, though. All right, Jace off the field. We've got two Urzas and three Trackers left in our decks as, as pretty good draws. I think they're going to Colonnade my Ren. Probably going to sack of food to gain some life this turn. Probably just one. Yikes. We're doing so well. Emery is on top. I feel like we can't afford to draw Emery. We're just going to deck ourselves. Oh, I forgot I already fetch and play. Oops. I mean, whatever. We have infinite fetches. Yeah, I just can't. I mean, Emery is, I think, a fine card in this matchup, but at this point in the game, just like decking ourselves is a thing that'll happen. All right. Is that Renin 6 number 4? It's at least Renin 6 number 3. It's Renin 6 number 3. I mean, Goose can keep Colonnade in check. Opponent has no cards in their hand. We're, draw we're, we're ahead on cards. Is that literally every land in our deck? It's got to be close. We play 22 lands. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Okay, so we still have 4 more in the deck. So far away from complaining about it. Does it make sense to not find the last fetchable for tracker? Maybe. Uh, it's very close. I mean, we're still going to be able to draw cards off of tracker. <sighs> yeah, four more lands incoming. Absolutely. I no longer believe in deck thinning. You probably should have left the last line of the deck. I don't know. It's not a land. <laughs> Two geese outpacing the Celestial Colonnade. Modern is a blisteringly fast format. Only two lands left in the deck. Only two lands left in the deck now. We're just getting them out. Just getting them out of the deck. How many cryptics? We have one cryptic left. No, we're out of cryptics. Just thin in the deck with our draw step. They plus their Teferi, so they just have counter magic up here. <laughs> I'll concede if I draw another land. All right, there it is. Gas, gas, gas. I'm going to step on the gas. I don't think we can win. Well, we had such a great start, and we drew, like, maybe one too many lands that game. We did have one hell of a start, didn't we? I like to have like one or two blasts in this matchup. I think when we bring in needles, we also don't need the stars as badly. Oh, we want, we don't want to cut these though. So I guess we need to play the stars. <laughs> yeah, GG Shuffler. Yeah, the Emrakul would have been sick that game. Or the Nexus of Fate, whatever.
Yeah, Toski. I don't think is very good in this deck, but any spell would have been good there. I would have taken literally any spell. Dark Steel Relic would have been better. You know, there's that uh, that Manalus Affinity deck that's been floating around, mostly for fun, right? Um, yeah, actually, for matchups like this, maybe I do, I do want to play the the Nexus. Uh, but there's there's that Manalus Affinity deck that's been floating around. It looks pretty fun. Uh, kind of bad to have both or two of my three basics in my opening hand. Shadrach Meshach, eight months. Hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for the kind words. I really wish that that deck played uh, Dark Steel. Dark Steel Relic, I love that card. All right, we're not casting this Cryptic on turn three, that's fine. Cast it on turn four. Possible I'm supposed to trim on Geese in this matchup. Not sure. Fortell, Fortell opponent. Cac W, dude. <laughs> it reminds me of Search for Escanta. Although, if this is Doomscar, I'm going to look like an absolute idiot. Milled over uh, er, two Urzas? No! Emery, stop! Now I only have two Urzas in my deck. Ugh. I wonder how big a brand a play it would be to not get a land in that spot to maybe get another land with this tracker. Although I guess they're just pathing this tracker, right? I think that this is likely to resolve. So I think they're going to play their foretell card here and then we'll get to get another clue. Get the Triome here. I think I still get it, even though it wouldn't be that bad to draw. We, we have, you know, four clues. If we can ultimate this run, we should win. And, you know, they're under a lot of pressure with both the Tracker and the Ren here. Well, this is way easier to answer. If they spend, if they like Wrath this turn, we get to hold up Cryptic, it's pretty likely we can emblem the Ren. Isn't it better to keep Triumph and deck to potentially cycle? I don't think that that's that relevant at this point with all these clues. Are Fertile cards actually good? I mean, Behold the Multiverse is playable, but I also don't think that you should, I don't think that you should play it. It just like, it has to be like the best card advantage card, and I just don't really think that it is. It's a good draw. I have not considered an Aether Grid, really. I don't really feel like there are enough Stony Silences to justify Aether Grid. Oh shit, I don't have a blue source in play. Or, uh, sorry, a food. So I'm actually going to play this right now. Uh, let's make sure I can actually have Cryptic up, because they're pausing. What's my top card? My top card is Gilded Goose. Don't like that. Well, I felt about this head last game and we still lost. I'm gonna wait to crack my fetch until my opponent's upkeep, I think. Are they gonna path my goose? I mean, if they path my goose, just like take my ridden six to five, aren't we winning this get that game? Yeah. So we get, to draw, we get to draw two cards on their upkeep. I am out of basic lands, because I drew two in my opening hand. I'm not sure what matchups we've struggled with the most. I mean, my sample size is just too small. Like this league, we lost to Boggles, but Boggles is a great matchup, you know? We have three main deck explosives and explosives in the side. And we've also beaten Boggles before. I guess I 
was meant to crack the bobble on my turn. Am I gonna sack a clue? I guess I will. There's not a card on the modern ban list that I would unban, Zach. You got a force of negation opponent? <sighs> Yikes. I mean, it's not, it's like theoretically we're not doing that bad, right? Just have, we got five clues, we got all these baubles. We are, you know, admittedly kind of light on wind conditions though. Wooded foothills on top. And then they're drawing Mystical Dispute. Should be easy enough to play around. Bobble number four. And then they're drawing Fountain next turn. So their hand is Dispute, Mystery Cards. Is this a Colonnade activation? It's not, it's a Teferi. We haven't found a Needle. We did bring in two Pithing Needles. Haven't found a lot of things. What a weird match this has been. Bobble myself. Emery on top. Shuffle away Emery. Do we have spells, like good spells in our deck, or is it just all card draw? I'm going to bobble myself again. I don't know. Probably better to draw one card first. I'm kind of locked in onto this. Been kind of an unreal match. We know that they have Dispute, so we can't jam Cryptic here. And we know that they we know they have Dispute, so we'll see. I guess we'll see if they Dispute the Goose. No reason to pick up a land when we're discarding a land anyways to hand size. They're drawing a Field of Ruin. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I think like a cycle land here wouldn't necessarily help with our issue, right? Where, look at this, we've got all the, we, we've had enough clues to draw cards as we need. We drew two more lands off the baubles. I, I think we're just running incredibly poorly, if I'm being honest with you. You know, it's just like we're playing 22 lands. This is just gonna happen sometimes. Ashiok is gnarly. We've been able to spend mana to turn those to turn cards into spells basically this whole game. It's just like the spells that we're turning them into. Or sorry, we turn turn mana into cards, we just keep drawing more and more lands just constantly. I don't think my opponent's gonna fire up colonnade here, but they might. Yeah, I mean, like, the, I have 20 cards in my library, so I, I have to ping the Ashia. So, two Urzas in my deck and two Tireless Trackers. I'm also at eight against this Colonnade. I have a, I have a Blast, though. I have a Needle for the Colonnade in my deck, too. We know that they have a mystical dispute in their hand, but that shouldn't matter here. I, could, I think I'm counter drawing. Have they? Oh, although they they played their land, so maybe counter bounce colonnade is better. 
We have two more clues. We can beat double dispute too. We also get to kill Ashiok with the Rin and Six Ping plus the Emery attack. They should minus, I think. I've got 20 cards in my library. I'm so happy they didn't minus. <sighs> what a marathon. All right, let me start off by attacking Ashiok. Is in the deck. Good question, though. I don't think I'm sacking a food, or make. I guess I'll make a food. That crack a clue first. Oh, I meant to. Oops. Do I just ping them with Renin Six? Well, let me cycle my Chromatic Star first. I do have one Galvanic Blast in my deck right now. The perfect number of Galvanic Blasts to have. All right. Oh, here he comes. Watch out, blue-white control. He'll chew you up. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, they could definitely have a Verdict in their hand, but... I just don't think we're supposed to be playing super hard around something like that. <laughs> well, I've got plenty of mana now, but good job making me pay three. Yeah, maybe I don't have enough win conditions. I mean, I uh, my sample size is admittedly pretty small, but I have played probably like 30 matches with this deck now, and this is the first match I really felt like I've been low on win conditions. So it feels like... And, and I also feel like we've been running poorly this match, so... A bit early to tell. I, I, could, I could even see, like, just playing Nexus of Fate of the Cyborg over... Uh, over Gaia's Blessing, and then that's just all of a sudden your problem solved, maybe... 3 3 Typhoon is fine. Do I want to blast it? I don't really think so. Because they might verdict here. I can just chump block the goose with the. or the shark with the goose. Yeah, I agree. Like, if, it, if you're just going to have too few win conditions against specifically control, like, just like have an Nexus of Fate or, you know, something. This is fine, right? I mean, this attack doesn't even kill me. We also have game three to play. And I'm actually behind on time for the first time in my entire life. I was probably, I was supposed to rebuke this. I'm just trying to play quickly. All right, going to game three. What a grind. Why not blast Colony? I mean, Colony just doesn't matter at all there, I think. I'm gonna cut two geese for two blasts. Blast kills Colony, kills Mentor, kills them. I really don't really want, I don't want to draw very many geese, I think. All right, I'm gonna turn my music off. I'm gonna try to play quickly. This is definitely going to be a really important match to use your time as efficiently as possible. And my opponent has way fewer clicks that they have to make than me. I said earlier this week that Emery is the weakest card in the deck. Yeah, I, th I think I do still feel that way. I haven't been that impressed by Emery. She's good sometimes. <laughs> Guy's blessing. Too bad they're just not going to mill it. Uh, this hand sucks. I'm going to keep though. I think I can keep this against blue white. They did mold a six. If you guys thought I played fast before, <laughs> that's just relaxed me. It's not even focused me. I 
think I'm shocking to represent a counter spell because I really don't want my opponent to play it to Fairy Time Raveler. A play that I usually only make in exactly this match. Alright, Goose Loose. Um, I think I'm going to value the Gingerbread Cabin entering untapped more than like trying to get a clue off of Tracker and failing probably. I'm getting tapped breeding pool here. Seems gonna hopefully I can just draw a veil of summer and then have easy decisions. Doesn't seem like that's gonna be the case. I'm gonna pass back at least this turn. Maybe it was good to go for a tracker, but I didn't feel like it was like that free. Think of food here. Alright, I, I probably should start playing trackers before I just have like no lands to to play to trigger them, although oh wow can't not believe that resolved. So lucky. I am speed. Just making a shark. Am I blasting the shark now? I think I am. Might not matter that much. And if they sack, if they verdict, I'm gonna wanna sack the clue, I think. I might sack the clue no matter what. Red and six is a good draw. But we can also go Tracker, Cabin, Urza. Well, I guess we're just going Tracker, Urza, and then we can, can we spin Urza? I think we can, right? Oh no, because we have to sack the f a food. We can cast Cryptic though. Do I just want a Cryptic bounce to Fairy? I don't really think I do. I think I'll Cryptic Bounce uh, Colonnade. Interesting. I feel like this game is going to go down to a good old F6 battle. It's a little early to tell that. But the feeling I'm getting. It's just a feeling I've got. Like we're about to get into an F6. <laughs> Winds of Abandon. I'll just get my I'll get my land. Um it's a good draw. So let's go. Wait, why can't I tap this for red? I, was, I, I pressed W for Urza. It's kind of annoying if that ends up like taking enough time off my clock. But I, I might have enough time to win this game. It's not 100% clear to me. They have Spell Snare? They, I guess they have Force of Negation. It's not the end of the world if this gets forced. They force pitching Cryptic, it's fine. So I'm gonna not play the tracker then. I mean, er, rent, if we if they had no interaction here, it was obviously better for us. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna needle colonnade here. I think I'm just gonna spin. Not cracking the bobble is a bit awkward. We're still just a little ahead on time. We probably have enough time to finish this match as long as we keep making our decisions really quickly. We're only on three cards, but they are thinking, so they, they very clearly have some decisions. 
Colonnade tab. So needle and colonnade looking more and more appealing. I'm just gonna start off going to combat, attacking to fairy. Can I get you off the field? I think I want to send both in case they have a removal spell for my construct. I deny them the ability to bounce with Teferi next. Let's sack this for blue. Oh, that doesn't really matter. Return cabin to my hand, draw a card. My favorite play with this deck. Like I said, now that I, now I've drawn Misty, I'll just fetch uh, the third cabin. And then... I probably just want to go Needle Colonnade Pass. Sack the Bobble too. They force pitching Ashiok Dream Render. Well, I guess we're going to win then. Their top card is Opts. Not a very helpful card to see on top, I guess, but I'm just going to pass. How do we feel about auto yield? Do you mean like just. It's way too early to start the F6 battle if that's what that question means. They put a card on the bottom. The card was Celestial Colonnade, or the card they drew, rather. Dude. I <laughs> feel very vindicated with all my Celestial Colonnade hate. But I think we've won. Nice to have the match reach its natural conclusion, of course. I'll yield to the trigger, sure. You know, I'm, I'm trying to play as quickly as I can, which is always like the double-edged sword, right? Where you're trying to play as quickly as you can, but because you're trying to play as quickly as you can, you're going to make mistakes and, like, and in some ways you'll fumble and not actually play as fast as physically possible. Blast him. Big B, thank you for your 11 months in a row. Uh, sorry, things are a little hectic right now. Just gotta actually win. I probably should have played the other tracker first. I guess I'll just do that right now. Overcommit into a verdict to kill them next turn. Why not? Didn't need to attack the goose. Again, I'm just trying to play as quickly as I can. Not we win. Awesome. But not conceding for probably just no good reason. Yeah, we, we don't even need to keep... Uh, we don't need to keep sacking foods or anything. We just attack and tap their colonnade. They have no cards. Tough match. Tough match. 3-1, losing only to Boggles, which I think is a great matchup, so I'm feeling good about the deck. I'd like to... I think we can keep this. I would, I would love to play against Boggles again. <laughs> that would actually be my choice. My opponent's mold to 5. Please be Boggles. Tron. Well, this is a linear matchup. I guess I got what I asked for. Uh, we're definitely going to want to rely on the damping spheres post board. Game one is probably a little tricky. Spirits is probably fine right now. It looked it looked uh, looked fine when we played against it earlier. Kind of nice to know their top card. They're drawing Nurse's Tower. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe if we're on the play of this game. Yikes. Yeah, this is probably not a very good matchup, I agree. Especially with, like, Karn, uh, the great creator, right? Snow-covered forest on top. I'm going to shuffle. I really want to try to, like, spin to win into Metallic Rebuke here. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'm happy. I'm honestly happy to play against Tron. Uh, I know that it's not a good matchup here, but after that, after just all these grindy decks, just a linear matchup is something I think I'm happy enough to take. Well, we can Galvanic Blast Car next turn. Oh no, we need to do that. We need red mana, and to get red mana, we have to sack the star. Okay, that's a funny draw. Right on time, Metallic Rebuke. Right on time. Okay, opponent's top card is Ancient Stirrings. Another point for Lightning Bolts over Galvanic Blast. My opponent is maybe just stuck on green mana here. We don't have a red for our red. Maybe I was supposed to get uh, Stomping Ground. They're drawing Urza's Mines, which is bad if they have Ulamog in their hand. Probably nothing we can do about that. That's red mana, I guess. But that's actually red mana. Although, is it better, is it better to go Shields down? I think it is. We know they're drawing Urza's Mine. Yeah, we know they're drawing Urza's Mine, so I think we're just supposed to say, I hope that you have all green spells in your hand. We know they have Ancient Stirrings in their hand, so... They either have all green spells, or they have, like, Dismember plus Ulamog. Uh, the, the, or sorry, Dismember and Ulamog are the other cards they could have. But now that we're out, we're out of bobbles, so we don't just have, you know, good information anymore. No Ulamog. Awesome. So we could go Shields down and play a Tracker here. But I think it's better to hold a Cryptic. <laughs> All right, lots of lot of Tron pieces. Maybe it would have been better to just jam. I would love to draw an Urza. All right, Emery's actually kind of nice here. Oh, oh no, we actually we can't play. We can't play Emery and hold up Cryptic because to play Emery we need to fetch up Cabin. And to fetch and, and then we don't have enough blue to play Emery and Cryptic. Yeah, yeah, I think we probably just play to the Ren Ultimate with Cryptic Command, which is probably good enough to win. Why didn't I play Goose? I couldn't hold up Cryptic if I played Goose. Alright, so I guess now we bounce this and draw a card. This is such a weird game. Yeah, they're definitely just stuck on green. Another Blast. This is like the weirdest game I've ever played against Tron. So we ultimate the Rin next turn. I think that it's best to play Tracker Tracker, hold up Rebuke. Not that Rebuke is likely to do much. But just hope that their opponent breaks one more turn and we should be able to win. Expedition map. So if I rebuke this, I don't think we're supposed to rebuke this. They do get the forest and I imagine they're gonna play Ancient Stirrings. Where's Jeskai? I think Jeskai's fine, I played it this week. I think Jeskai's decent. Just kind of been working on new stuff, you know? How many times have I ulted Renegans Tron? I've done it a couple times. It's always in these blue decks, or usually in these blue decks. They reveal Ugin, which I believe we can rebuke. Amazing. Rebuke has got to be like the most tilting possible thing that could happen to them here. So now we have a Cryptic Command available. We also have Galvanic Blast. They just concede. Yes! I have no idea how we won this game. <laughs> I mean, I, obviously our opponent drew bad <laughs> is how we won. Just wasn't really expecting to win. Probably want a sideboard like this. 
This looks good to me. I mean, I think, I think their hand was just all ancient stirrings and sylvan scryings. You can keep this. Yeah, if they, if they had minus on a land, we'd lose, probably. Or even upticked. They bowled a 6 on the play. You feel like you keep Cryptic up and play one tracker? I didn't have Cryptic in hand last turn, so... Disagree. They put Worm Coil Engine into their hand. They play a Power Plant. I don't think I'm playing Goose. I will play Mox Amber just so I don't get taxed by Damping Sphere going forward. I guess actually being not being taxed by Mox Amber is probably good enough reason to play Goose here. Or sorry, not, not being taxed by Damping Sphere. It's fine. We don't have any pressure though, which is a problem. Blast Zone is also a problem. You not play Goose, you have Rebuke up for O Stone. Yeah, that's probably a bit better. Galvanic Blast is solid. Smash up kills Karns after the resolve. I mean, only if they minus. Like, I don't think Bolt is good against Tron, and Galvanic Blast is about the same. It's really down to here what you'd play instead. Hopefully going to game, or maybe going to game three in a second. Not hopefully. Urza would be the best draw, probably. Tracker would be good. Right, I, I, that was all my wish list, so. I'll take it. And if we can rebuke their first thing and maybe draw into another Damping Sphere Cryptic Command, we'll be okay. Play around Dismember. If I don't rebuke something, I'm gonna, I'll sack a food to uh, get a clue, especially because we have access to a food off of Misty. So it has Worm Coil, three unknowns. We can rebuke anything. I'm, I guess they just have Veil of Summer plus Karn plus Natural Tron with Blast Zone. Oh, kind of weird. Why did they play the Forest first? I'm not sure. I think I'll sack a food or clue. Maybe this is still too bad if I draw Urza. I'm not sure. Can we afford to play another tracker here, or do we have to draw into... I think we have to try to draw into Damping Sphere or Cryptic Command. Or, you know, Metallic Rebuke to bluff. I mean, in, like, what scenario did I not counter the Karn, though? Doesn't feel like a great bluff. How oh, awesome. I can't play... I can't play the other tracker first, but... I guess I, I, I should have done this first, but I, I'll just take the extra point of damage here. Yeah, it's been a crazy league. Crazy league. Really good one. Appreciate you guys sticking around. I know this is like two hours after when I usually stop streaming. But since I'm not streaming tomorrow like I usually would, I don't mind going a bit long today. Unravel the Aether, fair enough. Into Thrag Tusk. We well, can attack through the Thrag Tusk. I guess the Emery is also free to play because we have Amber. And she can get back Damping Sphere next turn. Out of foods. Probably will chump block Thrag Tusk with the Goose next turn. 
see we need to jump here. I would love to get to rebuke something and then replay Damping Sphere. It will also build the Bob will miss that. I really don't want to see Urza's tower. I mean, that's Urza's tower, but we can just... But it costs three, so it's fine. Why do they play Unravel the other over something like Naturalize? To deal with Heliod, probably. Because Hel Heliod is indestructible. Mox Amber has been pretty good this league. I think it's like earned its spot as a one of, and that's just the number you want to play, probably. It's hard for them to complain about our draws when they had Natural Tron unravel with Blast Zone and payoffs. Um, that's extra. It's two extra clues. But I kind of don't want to spend the mana on it. This, not this turn at least. I don't think we need the extra clues while we just already have five. It's also a... Oof, nasty. Nasty, nasty. Yeah, make sure I have enough mana to get back Damping Sphere. No, I don't. No, I don't. Just winning this turn, drawing perfectly the entire time. Yikes. How about a... Do you need, a, do you need an extra Urza spike? Do you need an extra Urza? Wow, what a league. What a league. I think this deck is good. Our one loss was to Boggles, which is just a great matchup with all these explosives. Um... This this deck is I think super po powerful, super powerful. I'd really really recommend it.